The United States will equip F-16 fighters supplied to Ukraine with modern weapons, including air-to-air missiles, the Wall Street Journal reports citing a senior US official. It is noted that Denmark and the Netherlands are preparing to send the first American-made F-16s to Ukraine this summer, with aircraft from Belgium and Norway to arrive later. But the source of the aircraft's critical weapons remains unclear. While the Pentagon has limited stockpiles and production capabilities, it will supply F-16s with air-to-air -air ground munitions, precision bomb guidance kits, and advanced air-to-air -air missiles in sufficient quantities to meet Ukraine's most pressing needs, the publication writes, citing information from a source. As Major General Rolf Folland, commander of the Royal Norwegian Air Force, stated, the aircraft itself is useless without weapons. The weapons the US is sending to the F-16s include the AGM-88 Harm air-to-air -air ground missile, extended range versions of the Joint Direct Attack Munition Kits, which turn unguided bombs into smart weapons and so-called small diameter bombs. The US will also send the jets to the advanced medium-range air-to-air missile known as AMRAM and the AIM-9X short-range air-to-air missile. In Europe, many countries were reluctant to send large quantities of their limited stockpiles of air-launched munitions to Kyiv, the US official said. So Western allies came up with a solution the Pentagon called a jump start. European countries could pool their funds to buy the US-made weapons to send to Ukraine. Recall that the New York Times previously wrote that Ukraine is one step away from deploying the first American F-16 fighters, but still faces serious problems that may get even worse. We are talking about Russia's increasing attacks on Ukrainian airfields, as well as a shortage of trained pilots and main maintenance and support personnel. Aviation expert of Ukraine, Bodan Dolintsy, notes that the number of F-16 aircraft in Ukraine affects the cost of maintenance. He said that it is necessary to understand that if we talk about flight time, then an hour of flight for each aircraft is quite an expensive pleasure. The cost, for example, of using the F-16 is one of the lowest in the world, provided, of course, that there are a large number of these aircraft. That is, there is data that the cost of an hour of flight is up to $5.5 thousand dollars for the F-16. But this, of course, is for those countries that have a fleet of hundreds of aircraft, Dolins noted. He added that if, at the initial stages, Ukraine will have a small fleet of dozens of aircraft, then this cost will thus increase three to four or more times per hour of flight. At the same time, on the other hand, in addition to the flight itself, it is also necessary to understand that the cost of ammunition is quite high.